Hi everyone, so this is the start of the next pack, which is equations and inequalities. So we're really hoping that everybody's got the calculators by now, in theory. There's quite a few different boxes on here, but I'm going to try to lump these together as lesson one. This disguise quad takes a bit of time, but we can tune it. That's lesson two. There's a little bit of self-study to do, and then that might be all together as lesson three. But it might be we've gone to lesson four with that. We'll see how we do. See how we're doing for time. I don't want to push us too fast that you don't kind of understand what's going on. Right, so hopefully lesson one is going to be a breeze and we'll fly through it in like in minutes. So maybe we start lesson two early, you never know. So it talks about. But well, we know this, don't we? I'm doing this all the time on the card on the, on the board using symbol. So I've got two equations, I rearrange them for letter, letter equals number. I just put the coefficients in and it gives out the numbers. So then there's three for you to have a go at. Hopefully by now you've got your calculators. So you want it x is y is equals numbers, don't you? So just have a go at those. So make sure it's x is y is equals numbers. So x is y is equals numbers. And then hopefully you can use poly or simul delete, and get those answers out. Hopefully. That's not too bad, is it? We've done, we've done loads of those on the, on the thing anyway. So let's have a look. Next page then. Zoom in. So, so this is about non-linear. I've got two equations. So it says rearrange the linear equation. So this one's your linear. So I'm going to have it as y is equal to 8 minus 3x. Substitute into the non-linear equation. So 3x squared plus y oops, squared is equal to 28. Multiply out the brackets. So 8 squared is 64. 8 times 3 is minus 24. Double it, minus 48. Square that is plus 9x squared. Be careful with that. Some of you will put minus. And then rearrange to make it equal to zero. So let's clump it all together. So 12x squared minus 48x. Take the 28 over, it gives me a 36. It's equal to zero. In the olden days, before we had graphical calculators, we'd spot that we needed to divide through by 12 to factorise it quite easily. But what's quite lovely is that your calculator will do it for you. So let me press dip over to the cam to the screen to the to wherever to the keyboard even. That's where I'm going. There. So I'm just gonna solve that in poly. So in poly, I'm putting 12 minus 48 and 36 in. So 12. Oh, look at that. Where's that going? Go away. I got a I'm having slight issues. 12. Now I've got 212. It's all going wrong. Maybe I should just go and get some dinner. Minus 48 and 36. Right, so the first one is 3. So I've got x is 3. Or x is 1. There. Is that that page done? Yay. So I've got the x values, and I'll, so be careful what it wants now because it'll want the coordinates of these. So I choose the nicest equation to sub back into, which would be this one, my rearranged one. So I've got y equals 8 minus 3 lots of 3. I've got y equals 8 minus 3 lots of 1. So I'm going to have minus 1, 
So that'll be 3 minus 1 and 5. 1 comma 5. Wow, look at this. There's loads of you to have a go at. That's what we like. Right, have a go at those consolidation questions. And